Hi, in this video, we will look at how to create the iOS shimmer effect. For example, the slide to power off animation. Here inside SwiftUI, you can see this animation or effect when you try to switch off your iOS device. So let's look at how to create this shimmer effect or animation using a gradient endpoint or start point. To begin, I will click on the three dots to expand the code. To animate anything in Swift UI, we have to change it over time. And to change anything over time, we need a state. So let's begin by creating a state. We create a state called Shimma and set the initial state to false. Let's move on to where we have the text slide to power off. To create this animation, we are going to use the endpoint parameter of a gradient. In iOS 15, we can add gradient to text using the foreground style modifier. So let's add the foreground style modifier. For the style of the foreground style, we are going to pass a gradient. So let's add a linear gradient by going to the object library. You can see here we have applied a default gradient to the text. Let's change the first color to black and the second color to white. So you can now see our gradient transitions from black to gray. Next, we will define how we want this animation to be triggered. Let's trigger the animation to happen automatically. So in iOS 15, we can add the task modifier. The task modifier in iOS 15 works in the same way as the on appear modifier. So let's add it. In the block, we can specify the task we want to perform. So let's use the state. Over here, we are going to paste it and toggle its value. You can see the initial state is set to false. So over here, we are telling it to switch between the false and the true states. Next, to see this animation, we have to add the animation modifier. So just above the task modifier, let's add the animation modifier. For the easing function, we will use is in out, the one that has duration, and set the duration of this animation to 2 seconds. We want this animation to repeat forever, so we need to add the repeat forever modifier. For the parameter auto reverses, we will set it to false. The last thing to do is to use the state. To change the property we want to animate over time. The shimmer effect can be created using the start point or the end point of a gradient in Swift UI. In our case, we are going to use the end point. Over here, we are going to paste the state and use a ternary conditional operation. Next, we will bring a question mark. A ternary conditional operation has two values true and false. For the true value, let's set it to trailing and the false value, we will set it to leading. And that is all we need to create this animation in SwiftUI. You can create the shimmer effect by using the start point or the end point of a gradient here inside SwiftUI.